In this video, I will show you how you can use an IP or network camera inside WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux. In fact, you can use this on any other Linux system and also on Windows as well. In addition, I will show you how you can set up your own IP webcam on Windows and Linux or WSL. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. In the previous video I showed you how you can use a webcam inside WSL and therefore we needed to build the WSL kernel from source with the added webcam driver. If you're interested, the video link is somewhere up there or down in the description. This was a bit more complicated and in this video I will show you an easier way how you can use your webcam in WSL. As always, all the necessary links from this video you can find down in the description and also down there at the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. On this GitHub page there is a very interesting tool called Cam2Web and what this tool does, it basically makes your webcam accessible over HTTP and that means that you can access your camera as a remote webcam. So let's see how this works. Up here, go to releases. The latest version is from 2017, so it is a bit older, but let's use it anyways. Down here, click on the download link, download complete. Here it is, let's extract it and go inside. So we've got this exe here, let's start it. So this is it, a very simple UI. It has selected my HD webcam, that's what I want. And let's just start streaming. If this is the first time that you're running the application, then you will need to give it network access. So that's what I will do, allow access. Down here you can see it is streaming on the port 8000. Now click on the link. This is now my webcam inside the browser and we can access it over this link here. So let's try it out. Let's go back to GitHub, scroll down, accessing camera from other applications. And here we can see the endpoints. So we should be able to access the camera over this link here. So let's try it out, open WSL. Here I am in WSL in my distribution. And now first let's try to install a few things. FFmpeg, curl and jq if it isn't already installed. All right, and now we can use ffplay and the camera link. This one here, copy and paste it here. And then we need slash camera slash jpeg. Copy and paste it here. Enter. And here it is, ffplay. And as you can see, the video is a bit lagging behind, but we are playing this in WSL and we did not need to install any drivers for it. So this is awesome, but let's fix the lag. Let's close that. In the camp to web application, you have file and settings. Here on the settings, you can change different things. You can change the port, you can change the quality, but we are interested in the frame rate. So let's set it from 30 to 20 and let's go to okay. Let's close that. Now we need to stop streaming and again start streaming. Now back to WSL and here let's try again FF Play, and now it looks much better. It's not lagging that much anymore. Yeah. All right, let's see what else do we have here. So except for streaming videos and taking snapshots, we can also read some camera information in JSON format. So let's try that out. The endpoint is camera info. I will copy that. Now in WSL, instead of FF Play, we will use curl. And then back here, instead camera mjpeg, we will use camera info. Let's pipe that to jq. jq is just a simple command line JSON parser, so we will get a nice formatted output. Let's try it out, enter. All right, so here we have some basic camera information. Let's see what else we can do. There is also camera slash config. So here we get the camera configuration and we can also set the configuration. So let's try this out. In WSL, again curl, but instead of camera slash info, let's do camera slash config and enter. So this is the current camera configuration. Now let's try to change the configuration again using curl and this time dash x and post, then dash d and then the configuration we want to change. This will be this here for instance. Let's take the same example and copy. Now I will just paste it here to get rid of the spaces. I will not press enter but again select it, copy it and then undo it with control z. That's a simple life hack to get rid of the spaces. And now let's get back to WSL. I will paste it, just right click. There we go. And let's set brightness 
to 100 instead. Now before I execute this, I will open the webcam in the browser and refresh the page. And now let's try to execute it so we can see the change. Enter. Yeah, so the brightness changed. All right, let's bring this back to 16. Execute again. And now we are back. The same settings you can also change here in the browser. Brightness, contrast, saturation. Let's reset. All right, now it looks even better. Let's close the browser. Inside the app, you can also add access rights. So here, as you can see, anyone can view the camera and anyone can configure the camera. We can also restrict this to users. Let's set both. And then down here, we can add users. So let's add myself. And let's also set a password. All right. And OK. Now let's stop streaming and start again. And now if I try to access the camera again, you will see we get this window in the browser where we need to authenticate. So let's do this. Sign in. And only after we authenticate, we can access the camera. Is this safe? Well, it's using basic authentication, which basically means sending the password plain text base64 encoded. And since we are using HTTP here and not HTTPS, that means that everyone can read the plain text password. So it's not really secure in this form. There are ways around it how you can make it more secure. If this would be HTTPS, then maybe. Let's try to access it now in WSL. Let's try to get the camera info first. Camera info. And here we need to add the username, dash u, and then my user. You can also do a colon and write the password. But I will just go with the username and enter. And now it prompts me for the password. So let's write it, enter. And here is the camera information. If you want to display the camera, then again, we need to do it using curl. But here, instead of camera info, we need mjpeg. And then we want dash dash output and dash. And then we will pipe this not to JQ, but to FF play and a dash. So this way, curl will handle the authentication and it will output the stream over the pipe to FF play, which will read the stream from the pipe. So this is a combination of curl and FF play. Let's try it out. Enter. Now it waits for the password. So we need to write it and enter. And now we can see the stream. All right, let's close that and the browser as well. So far, I showed you how you can run your IP webcam on Windows and how you can access it in Windows and in WSL. Now let's try to run the IP webcam inside WSL. In order to run it inside WSL, we also need to access the camera inside WSL. And that means that we will need to use the method from the previous video. We will need to use the custom kernel with the webcam driver. So I will assume that you already used the custom kernel that we built in the previous video. Again, the link to the video is down in the description. Let's go back to the home page. And down here, we want to know how to build from source. And we want to know how to build on Linux. So here we have the instructions and also down here we have the dependencies. Let's open WSL. So we will build the project from source in WSL. First, what I will do, I will install some dependencies and I will copy them from my cheat sheet and paste them in. You can find all the commands in the description and enter. All right, everything is installed. And now I want to clone the repository of the project. I will copy the command from my cheat sheet and enter. All right, we have the repo. Now let's go inside the folder, cam to web. And now in here, we basically need to follow these instructions here. So let's do it. Push D, source tools, web2h, make GCC. Let's go inside and then make. Now pop D, then again push D, then inside apps Linux, and again make. All right, build went through. So let's do pop D, and now let's find the binary. It should be under build GCC release bin. Let's see. And here are the two binaries, cam 2 web and web2h. Now before we start cam 2 web we need to make sure that the camera is accessible inside WSL. And therefore, as in the previous video, open PowerShell as administrator. Now inside PowerShell, let's list the USB devices. USB IPD WSL list. Here is our webcam. Now let's try to attach it to WSL. USB IPD WSL attach. And then the bus ID is 1-4. This one here. So enter, attach. Camera attached. Back to WSL. Do we have a video device? Yes, we have. Now let's run cam to web. 
sudo camp to web. Let's try it out. Enter. All right, the web server started on port 8000. So the server is running inside WSL. Let's see if we can access it from Windows. Localhost, port 8000, and enter. And yes, here it is. So we can access this one from Windows as well. This is awesome. All right, let's close that. And let's stop the server, control C. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, if you like content like this, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.